about one in seven individuals in Australia have an RHD or rhesus D negative blood group. When an RHD negative patient carries an RHD positive fetus, there is a risk of a hemolytic disease in the fetus, a potentially life-threatening disorder which causes the red blood cells in the fetus or in the newborn to break down. This occurs due to blood group incompatibility between the mother and the fetus. Traditionally, the use of prophylactic anti-D immunoglobulin injections was recommended for these patients, irrespective of the fetal RHD status. However, with the development of genetic techniques, it is now possible to determine fetal rhesus status. As such, the current practice guidelines recommend that all pregnant RHD negative patients should have access to fetal rhesus screening in order to not only limit the use of this scarce resource, but to ensure its responsible administration in pregnancies where it is required. Bulk billing is available for this test. Fetal rhesus screening is performed on a standard blood collection taken at a pathology collection centre on rhesus D or RHD negative patients of at least 11 weeks gestation. This sample is transported to our genetic testing laboratory where the cell-free DNA is processed and analysed using genetic technologies. In RHD negative pregnant patients, the detection of RHD gene sequences in the plasma indicates that the fetus is RHD positive. Conversely, the absence of the gene sequence indicates that the patient has an RHD negative genotype. The results of fetal rhesus screening are presented and explained in a concise report which provides recommendations regarding whether anti-D immunoglobulin injections are required during pregnancy. As the fetal genotype will be different with each individual pregnancy, it is important that this testing is performed each time that an RHD negative patient becomes pregnant. Our team of genetic pathologists and senior scientists are also available for clinical inquiries and consultations.